where do you start? What happens? The girls out there listening and some of the guys, I know the girls are really listening to this because they're going to want to do a shot. They want to do an event. There are a lot of gr- Most p- people who really do Siddhach events are girls. Tell us where do they start from? So where does it start from? It starts from having the idea of doing an event, be that a Shabbaton or, you know, a backyard barbecue or anything of the such to really get people to come together. Getting people to come together comes from word of mouth. So really having the idea, then bringing it to one or two friends that you trust to provide good input. You know, we've hit snags along the way where, you know, we've brought ideas to different people and they were like, not really liking it. Do we go back to the same hotel we went to last time? Do we think we want to change things up? Key thing to focus on is programming from start to finish. You need programming from the time the Shabbaton starts, even, you know, figuring out who's going to be coming up a day or two early, setting Mm -hmm. everything up, Mm -hmm. what needs to be brought up, dividing things into different cars. If you have to rent a truck, if you have to do different things, um, logistics, you know, we'll we'll categorize that fully as logistics. Um, if you're doing a Shabbaton, how are you handling the key cards? Are you getting a Shabbos guy to come? Are you talking to the hotel staff? Will the host hotel staff accommodate? Can they let someone go from the front desk to jump around to three, four different floors? Um, food, food is 100% the biggest thing. Um, people talk, people talk about food and they bash, (laughs) they bash events. I will stand on that. I've bashed events because of the food quality, yeah. quantity, um, yeah. how it was made, thing. who made it. Well, we're Jews. We like food. Exactly. So, um, but programming and food are... Programming and food. It's like... Programming it's like and food are probably the two I love how, like, things. with the guy and by the way, you know, in the normal world, it's like just alcohol and women. Oh, alcohol for but sure. But in, like, the Jewish community, it's literally like, no, 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 we need a food and... Wine. Uh, and uh, food. Food and, and, and what to do. Food Tell and me poop. what to do. And we need wine. Wine is a big thing. I know. Um, you can't run out of the amount of wine. Tell, that tell, wait, tell me more. You, 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 what else, uh, you, you know, to piggyback on what he was saying. So I definitely agree with the programming. Really important, you know, to have everything. I'm a planner. So I like to plan everything way in advance. Like I don't like when there are bumps in the road. So um, I, I want to minimize that as much as possible when organizing <laughs> an event. Yeah, you have to. Um, yeah. That's all. Well, the other big thing is getting people. And, and not just people. So marketing outreach. Right. Marketing thing. outreach. But then once people start signing up and saying, hey, can I get more information? You have to then, all right, I need a shadchan who's going to sit here and vet these people. And so shadchanim and facilitators are also very key. What, do you, what uh, goes into to choosing, like, you know, facilitator, a shadchan, the dating coach? Be, in, in essence, is it fair to say, like, the person behind the face, the face to the shabbaton, I feel like, because it's, it's going to be the shadchan, you know? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And it comes into the two roles that the shadchan and facilitators more so on the shadchan really play. So the shadchan's sole responsibility on a build a bias Shabbaton is screening, screening and vetting. Um, Mm -hmm. And then secondary to that is really the follow up afterwards. Mm. Um, People, people complain at shidduch events. Like there's no follow up. Well, I was there's no follow up. I was at an event the other day in Lawrence and I was like, hey, I met two girls here. How do we follow up? And and the the host of the event were like, well, we're not really releasing any information. That was a big thing for me. (laughs) Like, I will not come back to one of your events. 